So, okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to uh, make a uh, Pomodoro timer inside my break. So I'm going to start uh, the break here. Uh, I will try to do it within 15 minutes, let's say. Um, I'll use Replit to create or to let it generate a small project. It's also directly hosted, so that's nice. So it creates like an index, a script, and a style, very easy. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, um, that uh, bootstrap uh, because I, uh, I'm going to use bootstrap. I'm going to change the title, Pomo timer. Okay. Um, then inside the body, um, let's start by making the title. Um, so let's Pomo oh. timer. Okay. Then I, I mostly use this this template here. That's very nice. It's, you can just copy it. So it's just a simple, uh, very basic grid uh, template. Um, so we will create just a uh, four columns. So that means that the screen is divided in four, and then right in the middle we will have the uh, timer zero zero dot zero zero. Um, I am going to give it an ID. Okay, uh, then I'm going to copy this uh, over because we will create a new row, but this time um, we will have two middle columns. Um, and that will be for the start and the pass. Uh, we need an ID for those things. Um, so, to st or to study and to take a break. So, study break. Um, let's see if that works. Uh, that works, um, but it's it's oddly centered. But if we add here text center, it should be centered vertically. Um, it did, except for the H1 because that's outside the container. That should fix it. Okay. Um, it spice things a little bit up because we don't have a lot of time. I will just use a Google font called Concert One. I really like the uh, numbers on here, so uh, it's very easy. It's just you just copy the uh, link to the to the font, just like the Bootstrap. Um, you go, and then we can just use this font family in the C data. So that's very very easy. We create a class timer, so we're going to use that uh, font family, and I'm also going to Change the font size real quick to pixels or something. Uh, let's see how that turns out. That's great. Okay, then we can start uh, by creating a study um, JavaScript function. So if we click on study, on click, uh, we're going to fire the study um, function. Uh, so let's go to here and let's create that function. So study. Maybe I will, I will merge it in one break. I don't know yet. Um, so then we, uh, before we fire that, we are going to make two global variables: minutes uh, and seconds. Doesn't really matter. Um, we go into put the minutes at uh, 25 because that's normal uh, study time, and then seconds uh, at zero. Um, we're going to start an interval. I'm going to uh, set interval. This will, will basically just fire a function um, x amount of time uh, after x amount of time. So for every x, I'm going to say into the second, this function will be fired. OK, first we're going to check um, if second is 0. Okay. If uh, seconds is zero, um, then we need to do uh, subtract the minutes. Minutes is minutes minus one, and the seconds will be uh, set at nine. If that's not the case. Um, Uh, we are going to do not that. We're going to do uh, 
else if oh, uh, elif, no. else if yep um, zero um, then we are going to uh, uh, leave the seconds leave the minutes alone and the seconds will be oh I'm sorry then the seconds will be seconds uh, seconds minus one we need to uh, update that so element is so we're going to grab that element by just document dot get element E and we call it timer. We're just going to update that. So element is going to read It's very easy because this is just what's inside it now. And that will be minutes uh, plus in the timer. We can also convert this to a string very easily. Um, and that we repeat over here. Let's see if, if this thing is already working. Uh, we need to click on study to let it start. Uh, get elements by ID. Oh, I said two capitals. It could be ID with small b. Okay, I also I forgot to click. Wow, that looks perfect. Um, okay, um, then we go into to add the case that it, 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 it stops. So if the um, Seconds are, are zero, and the minutes are zero. This interval can obviously stop, so clear interval, and then just interval. Um, what we also do is we we update the uh, HTML to just uh, I know I uh, did not happen because we eliminated the possibility that it can go around. No, we don't. We didn't because here we did it. Um, so you'll we'll just put it here, and this will be an else if so. But uh, doesn't matter. So okay, that will work as well. So we have a clear interval, uh, and then what I also would like to do just Add some styling. Color is red. Okay, to test it out, I'm going to embed it. Um, okay, we are wasting 10 seconds, but we have two minutes more for the break. Yeah, oh, that works very nice. Okay, so that turns red and it stops. Right now, the break. Um, that's that's uh, easiest. That's the same level of. You know what? We go into rename this study break and then we just go into let in a uh, number and that will be the number for the uh, minutes. So then we can reuse all of this. So then we can just go to here. We are going to. Uh, is this here on click study break study break and then study is 25 minutes and a break is yeah depending on what you want 10 15 minutes uh, so break yeah that works with 10 minutes oh that's that's nice okay the last touch I would like to add is um, is the, uh, the title like you can, I think, if I'm correctly, if you do document dot typo, you can just update it. So that means that if you're working uh, on a computer, and I will show you in a minute, uh, that we can actually see the, the tab uh, change of title. Okay. Um, well, so now we are ready. The title you cannot see, but the nice thing about Replit is that we can, if you click in here, it will host it on this side. So if you right now click study, that works. And you see what I meant with timer? So that's that. Oh, and then we can see if it's if it's ready. 
don't just say timer uh, document oh my god where is my documents dot title is ready okay um, that works nice okay I think that concludes this this small project it's just in between ten minutes um, obviously it's not it's not nice it, it should be centered in the middle as well uh, or isn't vertically but it will do the thing it will study it will count to zero and it will turn red and you can do the, exactly the same with break so um, yeah maybe I will just quickly change uh, the thing that if you if you click again uh, click interval clear interval um, interval just to be to be completely sure because that means that if we accidentally click again on study it will do some weird things uh, but right now with the updated version I think it should just be able to yeah okay that's our timer uh, well to really show it works I am quickly going to uh, set this uh, break at one minute so then we can, uh, well, you know what, at zero minutes and, and um, seconds here to like 25. Uh, so, hmm, didn't I change it? Oh, I should have made a change. Okay. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oh, that's doing some weird things. It worked. Okay. Nice. If you like this, I will appreciate a like or a sub. Um, have a nice day.